Hi guys, Ryu here with Narrated for Blender and this one's gonna be about lighting in Blender. So we're going to talk about how to set up lights to make your uh, your object, you know, your, your model look really cool and prepare it for a render so you can then bring it to Photoshop or whatever program and post-process it for your portfolio. Now lighting is exceptionally important and the way you set it up, it's not accidental. Every single light that you're gonna put in your scene has to have a purpose, right? So let's look at this scene. It's a bit complicated. There are quite a few lights in here, uh, which you cannot see yet, but when I turn them on, you will see that uh, we're gonna end up with a scene like this. So now let, let's talk about all these lights and you know what they do and uh, what was the reason behind me placing them exactly in these positions. Before we do anything, let's talk about the setup, okay? So first of all, I got volumetrics going on in here. By the way, we are in EV. So when I go here, you can see I'm in EV. If I uh, go here to the shader editor, you will see that I have my principled volume. So if I turn it off, you can see that uh, there is no uh, no fog in the, in the image. Now I'm using a very, um, a very mellow HDRI and if you can see here my HDRI is set to 0.35 which is like you know 30% of its strength and the reason for it is that basically all I need is just an ambient light in the scene but I do not need a strong light because light is going to be created by uh, by my uh, by, by lights but blender lights yeah and now first of all you need to set up your HDRI now you can see that, uh, first of all, that this image is um, perfectly symmetrical. And that's important because, uh, you know, in this case, for example, this highlight here is a bit stronger than the highlight in here. And I think we should just equalize it. So what we can do is simply, you know, rotate our HDR and see how we can actually make it a bit more balanced or equal. What well, this would do, right? This is a bit more balanced, I think. The lighting is not going to come from HDRI. HDRI just simply what it does, it simply lifts all the darkness because if I, you know, if I switch it off, right, all you see is just pitch black. Um, you, you see basically nothing. You only see lights from the bot, but that's about it. And, uh, you know, this one, this is what creates the atmosphere, right? Now, compositing is also important. I have, uh, I have a few notes in here. Let me just remove this glare because we don't need it. And I have um, my RGB curves, uh, my color balance. I got a bit of a texture here set up with uh, blur. Uh, so I simply went to the texture here uh, in Blender, added texture and added the, um, the noise texture. Then simply added the texture a node, connected to blur and then connected to mix. Mix node and set it to color dodge to um, create kind of like a dust um, in the air, like, a, like kind of like a, you know, part, air particles to so make this fog a bit thicker and give uh, gives these lights something to bounce off of because if you create um, dust particles and, you know, some kind of uh, any, any matter in floating in the air and the, and the particles and the bits, you know, uh, it, the light's going to reflect from them, right? So it's going to create a really cool atmosphere, God rays and all this stuff, right? So that's what I went for. Now, if I turn the lights on and all my setup, you'll see how it all looks. We can just collapse it because we're not going to be adjusting anything over there. All we need is this window. So when I turn all the lights on, uh, you can see that, you know, uh, there's a camera framing, uh, how, how everything looks. We got depth of field going on as well, which is set to, let me see here. It's set to 191 meters. The camera is really far away. If I'm going to zoom out to show you the whole scene, uh, let me just switch to uh, to look deaf. Now, the camera is far away here and set to 71 millimeters, which is you know quite a long. The background is really really far, meaning um, I'm gonna have a nice depth of field on the background. So that's how my scene looks uh, in Blender. You don't need any textures on the floor. I mean, you could add something generic if you really wanted to. Um, so just go to go to texture and add something really generic, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, the only thing that matters is just the uh, texture on this reflector. I got just a basic BSDF non-metallic texture, slightly rough, 
so it's gonna reflect light bounce back light onto my bot and now let's talk about all the lightings okay i actually separated them into groups so we're gonna turn them off and we're gonna switch them back on one by one and i explain you you know why i actually set the lights the way i did okay so let's talk about these lights now when you set up lights you need to start with one light and then you just simply add more lights if you need them but you need to start with one maximum two uh, if you don't have experience with lights you know i would highly recommend doing this and even if you're experienced with lights this is the way we usually set up lights okay we start with one and then we see what we can do with it uh, and then we just add more lights if we need to this is a very symmetrical shot so i need to set lights exactly on both sides in the same way Otherwise, the image is going to look unbalanced, okay? The whole point of this image is to be really symmetrical, right? So the first light I'm going to establish is going to be the light from the top. Um, so I'm going to go to my main top light and turn it on. And you can see what it does, yeah? It's a light set from the top of the bot, okay? Here on the top. And it shines down and it basically catches all these edges from the top, right? but mainly is set to highlight this bot's head and kind of spill around so this is the the main focal point um, of my image it's in the middle it's a face and it's gonna be uh, the brightest spot in the image because your eyes will go to the brightest spot in the image first they're gonna look for something saturated warm colors which is why this head is yellow they're going to look for something that is sharp, which is why my um, depth of field, my, my uh, camera focus is going to be set on this bot and the depth of field is going to just so, sort of, you know, fade away towards this back vent because back vent is a little blurish, you can see that, right? Then I need to have some separation light, which is going to separate the bot from the background because at the moment it's kind of like, you know, um, it's, it's blending with the background, so we need to separate it, okay? Meaning... We need to some uh, back reflection. Uh, we need some lights from the back. So I'm going to add these lights at the back. That's the first thing I'm going to do. And the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, uh, the back separation light. Now, these lights basically are emissions. They don't really, um, they don't have any lights in them, just an emission. So they're not so strong. So I need to add some rim lights from the back, and I set two forty-five degrees uh, um, spotlights, okay, that shine from the back on my bot, okay. So if I go here, you can see that they shine a little bit from the top, right, back onto the bot, and from where I'm looking, so from the front, it li literally gives this uh, this bot like a rim light, okay. So it's simply. Um, as a rim light around from the back. So if I turn off this uh, main top, you'll see what these lights are doing, okay? Let me just switch it off. See, that's that's a rim light from the back. And together with this top light, yeah, um, it's kind of uh, defining the, um, the outline of the mech and it separates it from the background. So let's add the reflectors. Not this one. Um, back reflectors, that's the one. And then we need some lights on the guns. So we're gonna have lights on the guns from the top. So you can see there are two cones, two, uh, two reflectors pointing from the top. They're gonna define the top of this, uh, this mech, which is important. And then we also need to define the hips. We're gonna have some hip lights again here, um, adding a bit more um, accent to it. Now we need side, side lights on this mech's face. So I'm going to drop some side lights on the max face. And these lights are literally pointing from the sides. So when I switch it off for a second, so you can see um, these lights are pointing at this angle, going a little bit down, and they shoot underneath the gun. Okay, that's how it's structured, right? You want the lights to point from the top, more or less, because or sides, because that's how lights actually um, shine in the real life. They don't shine from the bottom. Um, like in a horror movie, they just shine from the top where the sun is. So we used to, our brain is used to understanding that light comes from the top. So it's going to look a bit more natural. And then we need um, 
some rim light on the top and you can see that this this light is actually really important because it adds rim all around this bot it's it's a very powerful uh, light and it definitely separates this bot from this background and kind of defines it okay so if i again move to the back and i show you this light it's a massive light at the back yeah this one okay okay that's how it looks right all right and let's go back here and now let's talk about this front now the front is a little bit dark you need to brighten it up so i have a light that shines on the snout that makes it a little bit more standing out and you can see that the light is actually catching on this tiny cut these tiny bevels here uh, which is quite important adding a bit more structure to the face and you know pulling more attention to it right then we get lights on the guns from the front that they will actually uh, just add a little bit more um, like a fill light, okay? They're just going to open up this darkness under the guns. They, sh they shine from the front, so and they're located in front of the gun, kind of like on the bottom. So that's the exception that these are the only lights that shine from the bottom. They shine from the bottom on this gun here to open up this area because it's a little bit bright, uh, a little bit too dark for me. So that's why I did that okay and then we get one more uh two more lights on the vents because you see the neck is really dark now so i decided to open it up and i added vent uh, vent lights which basically open up this whole face and um create a lot of points of interest and in the at the end i added a reflector so it's a plane that just runs just below the camera and it will reflect light back onto the bot it's not meant to uh, be super powerful but if you look closely um if you render this with and without you will see that some of the shadows here are gonna get filled up um, gonna get filled out and um, they'll sort of be less uh, black less deep it simply opens up the image a little bit more so this reflector runs across the mech and it's just below the camera line so you cannot see in the camera but it shines the line and reflects the light, the light back onto the bot now material on this one is not metallic because you don't want metallic on the reflectors usually although you could but it's just going to become a bit more sparkly so in this case I just wanted something a bit more mild so that's why i chose this one there's one more light here uh, but I was using it for a different uh, different shot. You can see that's a little bit of a rim on the legs, um, but um, you know we can we can leave it on or off. But to be honest, I'm not really worried about this light. This this light doesn't really contribute to this scene. Now this image is actually ready for render. You can see that the form is very well defined. It's on purpose dark dark darkish image. It's not a bright image. So if you can see now. Um, in the screen that this is a final render so I can show you the before right that's a before that's a raw render and that's a render after editing I added a bit of color um, adjustment I added a bit of contrast and um, you know just fine-tune it in Photoshop but basically the raw render was actually really really good in my opinion it's pretty close to what I wanted to achieve um, and the most essential part was actually setting the light angles and also the light powers. I cannot give you exact numbers for the light powers, but the main point here is, if you if you notice, is that the rim light is really strong, and the rim light is strong because it defines the form. So the rim light actually is stronger than the than the key light, and the key light is a is the top light. This is the key light, main top, right, falling on the bot. See, without this light, all this form is lost, right. So I started with the main light. And then I started to move around and uh, fill the scene with other lights. So the main light from the top, then the rim lights, then the gun lights, then the leg lights, and the side lights, and you're done. So you need to play with it, you need to try different things. But um, if you set lights for your scene, make sure that you take some time with it and don't rush it because creating, you know, like adding random lights or you know creating lights with with add-ons it can be good for a quick renders but i would not recommend it for the portfolio you want to do it manually because you really want to learn where to put lights and then if you use add-ons yeah you can actually tweak them but you know what you want but it's really important to learn how light works and what you really want to achieve so you don't get this random effect you know like people use 
filters in Photoshop and they just get lucky. But this is not the way to use filters in Photoshop. You need to know what they do. Then you can use plugins and you can adjust them to your liking because you know what's happening. So and this is like with using add-ons and but knowing what Vanilla Blender does. If you know the Vanilla Blender techniques, you can use add-ons because you know what Vanilla Blender, you know, how to do it in Vanilla Blender, but you use add-ons to make it faster. But you need to know the techniques to understand, you know, uh, um, what what's happening behind the door, right? What's happening at the background, you know, what's the, what's the mechanics of it? So lighting is as important or maybe even more important than modeling because like in real life you can have an average looking model but with a good light you can make her look amazing and you can have a stunning model and with a shit light she's gonna look like shit so lighting is exceptionally important you can make a average model looking really really good like look at this solenoid this is a solenoid i created like a first week or two weeks of learning uh, you know uh, blender i was learning from master z on 1001 videos and this is like a fair, one of the first things i actually constructed and i spent like two hours rendering because i didn't know anything about cycles about lighting you know and i just playing with it but i took my time to learn how blender you know understand lights and i, I wanted to really know what I'm doing more or less and try different things and you know play with it it's a very simple shape but you can see you can create some interesting images even with the simplest shape if you know what to do with lighting now this Mac is a part of a course that we released with George Gambrell um, two days ago and you if you would like to learn how to build that Mac you can actually get the course it's available on Gamroad Blender Market Art Station and blenderbros.com links in the video description lots of add-ons were used to create this Mac including hard ops box cutter kit ops mesh machine decal machine machine tools photographer as well I'm gonna be talking about photographer add-on in the future uh, near future actually uh, because this is this add-on is fantastic and I want to show you a few things about it um, Mira tools was also used lots of add-ons guys. So um, The Mac was then textured outside the course with definitely EV materials and Now you can see this being rendered in EV um, So if you would like to you know get into add-on workflow the links in the video description you can just click on them and get some add-ons for yourself lots of videos on my channel too I teach you how to use them and many more videos to come anyway guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it catch you in the next video